friends, it is Kate here. Thank you so much for jumping on my channel and joining me for a class today. I got about a 25 minute uh, yoga Pilates fusion class just for you. Now this one is going to focus on a little bit of balancing, a little bit of ankle strength, and as always, a little bit of core work. Roll out your mat and let's get started. We're starting on our back. Go ahead, lie yourself down and get comfy cozy. Walk your feet in towards your sitting bones and plant your feet down. You know what I'm going to say. Pull that belly button in and elongate your low back, lightly imprinting the spine. Broaden the shoulders and keep your nose pointing straight up to the sky. Take a great big inhale through the nose and a big deep sigh out the mouth. Again, full big inhale. Nice big sigh out. One more time. Let it go. Take a moment here and just notice what's going on in your body today. Is there something in particular you'd like to focus on? Is there some point in your body that has a little extra tension? Do you need some additional stretching or love in one area of your body? There is no right or wrong answer. It's just giving yourself this time to discover, to notice, so we can mindfully move and gracefully move through our practice throughout today. With eyes opened or closed, on your next inhale, press deeply into your feet, activating your hamstrings, the back of your legs. Take another breath, and as you exhale, turn on your abdominal muscles. Think of drawing the ribs closer together, broadening the shoulders back. With your next inhale, press down into your feet and lift your pelvis up, finding a small bridge. This does not have to be the deepest one you've ever done. Take a big, deep inhale. Exhale, roll yourself right back down into your mat. Inhale, immediately pick the pelvis up, find your bridge pose. Exhale, soften all the way down. One more time, lifting up into your bridge and staying. Think of drawing your inner thighs towards one another. Turn on that spot where your thigh and your glute connect, your thut, your thigh butt, give it a squeeze, lift your hips up just a bit higher. Take one more big breath and lower yourself all the way down. Keep that feeling of pressing into your feet just like you did in your bridge, but we're lowering our hips down. On your next breath, float your hands up all the way to the sky. Keep pressing down into your feet. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, fold from your sternum, lift your head and chest up. Now, did your low back move away from the mat? If it did, not the end of the world, but keep imprinting. Keep pressing down into your feet and reach your fingertips out and away. If this is too much at any time, just bring a hand behind your head to give yourself some support. Great big inhale here. And as you exhale, let's circle our arms around. <sighs> inhale up, exhale around. <sighs> Three more. <sighs> Inhale up, exhale as you pull them to your sides. Last one, hold and stay, reverse. Inhale, open, exhale, pause, return. Inhale, open, exhale, press them down. Two more, inhale up, exhale down. Last one, inhale up, exhale down. Keep folding from that sternum, keep elongating in the small of your back. Reach your fingertips further and further away. Take one more breath. Lower everything down as you release. Lower your low back if it's lifted up at all. And then lift into your bridge once more. Big inhale. Exhale, soften all the way down. Inhale, peel the pelvis up. Exhale, soften all the way down. Last one, lift up and stay. Think of toning that spot, your little thut area, that thigh butt, lift it, give it a squeeze, broaden your shoulders, put a smile on your face, big breath. Roll yourself down, inhale, float the fingertips up, exhale, curl, lift your head and chest, find your lovely little lifted position right here. Shoulders broad, folding up. 
toning a bit more, stamp down into both feet. Take a big deep inhale. Exhale, lift up half an inch more, reach those fingertips away, and then from here, inhale, hands up, exhale, hands down. Inhale, hands up, exhale, hands down. Three more, inhale, hands up, exhale down. Last one, inhale up, exhale down. Bring one foot up and grab behind your thigh. Keep that elbow pointing off to the side. We don't want to close it in. We might kind of curl our shoulder in if we do so. Take another breath. Do the exact same thing to the other side. Seal your inner thighs towards one another. Roll up half an inch more. Pull that belly button up and in. Take a great big full inhale. As you exhale, either hold right here, this might be enough for you, or release the fingertips out and away. Now, this is a lovely large position for some of us. Stay here, this is a fabulous stopping point, or we're going to inhale, straighten our right leg, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, straighten your left leg, exhale, pull it in. Back and forth we go, inhale, reach, exhale, return. Inhale, reach, exhale, return. Two more, reach, pull it in. Last one, reach, pull it in. Draw those inner thighs towards one another. One more time, grab behind your thighs, lift up just a bit more. Great big full inhale. Exhale, release, soften the feet down without losing that imprint and roll your head and chest down. Inhale, lift your pelvis up, find your bridge. Take a great big breath here. Shoulders down the back, nose pointing straight up to the sky. Big, lovely smile on your face knowing what wonderful things you're doing for your body. Take a big inhale and roll yourself down. I want you to extend your right foot up to the sky. Actively flex that foot. Is your low back peeling away from the mat? You will experience a larger stretch if we can keep that imprint, if we can keep the back of our body up to the sky. This might be enough for you. This is a wonderful place to stay. If you want something just a little deeper, maybe try to hinge a little more. You could even reach for your leg and give yourself a gentle extra little stretch. Nothing big, nothing crazy. It's still the start of class, my friends. Take a breath. Release, set that foot down. Stamp that foot up, reach the other one. Same thing from the other side. This might be enough. Go ahead. Give yourself as much or as little room to move in your body. You might even notice you want to circle a little bit in that leg. That would be absolutely fine. Take a breath. Set that foot down. Gather your knees into your chest and make yourself a tiny little ball. And I just want us to rock and roll on the back of our body, giving ourselves a little love until we come all the way up to a nice, easy seat. Take a moment here and just notice anything that's feeling different in your spine from when we were lying on the floor. Roll those shoulders if you want to. Inhale, take your hands, your gaze up to the sky. Exhale, flip the palms, bring your gaze back to center, hands down by your side. Inhale, float the fingertips up. Exhale, bring them down. One more time. Inhale, float the hands up. Now we're going to take a twist to the right. So twist to the right and you can either keep your hands lifted if that works better for your body or sometimes it feels nice to bring one hand down to the ground and you could even take your left hand to give yourself an additional stretch. Now this is not about yanking yourself as far as you can go but keeping those sitting bones planted down and again maybe just using that hand to help roll that shoulder back to help look behind you. You can think of this twist happening from your belly button and, and up the spine. Your hips, your legs, they should all remain stable. Unravel, reach your hands up. Same thing to the other side. So again, hands can stay out if that feels good, or drop one behind you as a little kickstand. One can come to your thigh, roll that shoulder back, maybe look behind you, or you could just look to that wall over to the side if that works better in your body. Release when you're ready. Bring your hands down to the mat and let's find a downward facing dog. Now, remember, if downward dog is just not in the cards for you, you have options. If it's too much for your wrist, you can always drop down to a lovely dolphin pose that is big on the shoulders. Um, if being on our hands and our feet in downward dog is just too much, you can always roll or kind of walk over to the wall. 
and do a little wall downward dog just pressing your hands into it reaching your hips back that will accomplish the same thing take an inhale lift high onto your toes exhale soften your heels down inhale rise high onto your toes exhale soften the heels down one more time inhale lift up exhale lower take a great big breath big easy sigh out on your next inhale, propel yourself forward. Find a plank. If you need to adjust where your feet are, not the end of the world. Just find that nice spot for you to stay. Press the mat away. Think of lifting your heart up through the back of your ribs. Take a big inhale. Let's lower our knees all the way down to the ground. And then from here, shift forward. Lower yourself all the way down to the floor. Untuck those toes. Reach your toes out and away. Press down into the tops of your feet hands by your low ribs. Think of hugging your elbows into your side and before you go anywhere imagine that I am holding on to your ears and I'm pulling your ears towards the wall in front of you. So we're finding that length just like we did at the start of class. On your next inhale roll the shoulders back find a tiny baby cobra. This can be the smallest little one ever. It's not about yanking yourself up. Big inhale, exhale lower down. Inhale, roll yourself up. Exhale, soften down. Last one, hug those elbows in. Slowly lift yourself up. Press all the way back. We'll return to our downward facing dog however you want to get there. If you want to come up through a tabletop, if you want to hit a child's pose, all options are open and more than welcome to you. Hips lift high, spine is long. Remember, you can always bend the knees if that feels better. And then look to the top of the mat, take a big inhale. As you exhale, walk forward, little tiny walks all the way to the top of the mat, finding a forward fold. Your feet can be together or about hip distance apart. Knees can be soft, top of the head reaching for the floor. Take a full deep inhale. Great big sigh out. One more big breath here. Let it go. Hands to the tops of your shins. Press into your legs as you reach your head forward. Just like a moment ago on your mat, lying on your tummy when I said, imagine me pulling your ears forward. Do the exact same thing here. This time your hips reaching back, belly button in, ribs together. Take a full inhale, exhale, lower down. Bend the knees a little deeper and let's roll ourselves all the way up to standing. Once you arrive in your standing pose, maybe close your eyes for just a moment and notice what's changed from when we started lying on our back, from when we came to an upright position, just to where we are now. Flutter those eyes open, heel toe your feet together. I want your big toes to touch and a little space between your heels. We want our legs parallel. Think of toning your inner thighs towards one another. It's like you've got a great big rubber band around the outer part of your thigh. Sit yourself back and find a chair pose. Now, those fingertips should not be over your head. We want them in our peripheral vision so we can allow our shoulders to relax back. Belly button hugging in towards your spine. Hips reaching towards the ground behind you. Look down at your toes. Can you see them? If you've shifted yourself forward and your knees have hidden your toes, rock yourself back so that weight is nice and even in your feet. Take a big deep inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. Press the palms together, open those elbows wide. Hands can stay here or you could bring them to your hips if that works better in your own body. But from here, I want us to pedal through our feet. And by that, I mean lifting up a heel and dropping our heel, lifting up the opposite heel and dropping. Now, as I do this, what I want you to notice are my hips are not moving, my shoulders are not moving, and my head is not bobbing up and down. I mean, it might possibly be moving just a little bit, but remember, we're all human. We're going for lifting our leg and setting it down without any other movement happening in our body. So tone that belly, reach your hips back, either hands again at that heart center or at your hips, whatever works better for you and your body. Now, on the last time that we lift our left foot up, set that heel down, sink deeper, reach the hands high, big breath here. Exhale, dive forward. 
Inhale, lift your head into that half lift. Hands on the shins, the thighs, on the floor, whatever works better. Exhale, relax. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, relax. Last one, inhale, half lift. Let it go, bend the knees, roll yourself all the way up to standing. Once more, sit back in that chair pose, reach your hips down, belly button up and in. This time, again, hands will come to heart center or our hips, but I want you to rock your weight into your left foot and pick up your right heel. Stamp down into that left foot. Remember that feeling of stamping down as you lifted your hips in our bridge pose earlier, we want to think about the same thing, activating the back of our leg, because now I want us to try to balance. Stamp down into that foot, lift your right foot up, and stand tall. Now, I am not too concerned with how high your right leg is up at all. In fact, what I'd really like you to think about is either keeping that knee in line with your hip or maybe a little bit lower. We don't want to jack it up too high right now. Your foot can be soft. Pull your belly button up and in. Try to even out those hips. Lift your head up just a little bit higher. Take a great big inhale. Big breath out. Now three times. I want you to flex your foot and point your toe. Flex your foot and point your toe. Last one, flex and stay. I know our left leg might be getting a little tired here. That's okay, you can always pause if you need to. Now, let's take it up a notch. Could we inhale, straighten the leg, exhale, pull it in. Inhale, straighten the leg, exhale, pull it in. Last one, straighten, pull that belly button up and in, keep it there, stand up tall and straight, take a breath. Relax the foot down and forward fold. Let your head be heavy. Wiggle out the hips, nod the head. Any movement that you're in the mood for. And then once more, go ahead, half lift as you inhale. Lower down. Roll yourself up to standing, lifting the hands with you as you go. Maybe pull them down to your heart center, but eventually sit back in your chair. Guess what, other side. Hands to our heart or to our hips. Rock the weight this time into your right foot, picking up your left heel. That feeling of stamping down, take a big inhale. Press down to lift yourself up. Shoulders over hips, long as you can possibly be on that right side. And then just like we did on the other side, knee should be in line with your hip or ever so slightly lower. And then let's flex and point and flex and point. Last one, flex and point. This time, flex and stay. Draw the ribs in, roll the shoulders back. Smile, sometimes when we enjoy our balance, you notice you just do it a little bit better. And then three times, inhale, straighten the leg, exhale, pull it in, tone that tummy as you do. Inhale, straighten, exhale, pull the knee in. Last one, straighten, pull it in. Stand up taller and straighter, take a breath. Drop the foot forward, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, let it go. From here, immediately bend the knees and sit back in your chair. Hands to our heart or to our hips. Weight into your um, right foot. I'm sorry, your left foot, pick up the right and then slowly stand up tall and straight on that right side. Now, a little bit different from before. I want you to immediately flex the foot and reach the leg nice and long. Belly button in, hips level. Do you see, I just adjusted myself too. It happens all the time. Now, this time we are gonna pick up our knee just a bit higher than our hip. I want you to imagine a little string attached to that knee. You're gonna take a big inhale, and as you exhale, Tone your tummy so much, you lift the knee up as high as you can. <sighs> Inhale, reach that foot out and away. Exhale, lift the knee up as high as you can without letting those hips move. Last one, lift the knee up as high as you can. Take a big breath. Drop the knee back down to your hip height. And this is a little bit of a funny one, but could we open our knee off to the side, out to the right, and then exhale, pull it back in. Inhale, open the knee off to the right, 
Exhale, pull it right back in. Last one, open it out. Pull it in, take a breath. Set that foot on the floor, forward fold. Wiggle, 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 move around however you like to. Those toes should still be touching. There should be a space between your heels. Sit back, find your chair. To the other side we go, my friends. Use your hands wherever you want. You could even take them off to the side if that works better. Lift up your opposite heel. Slowly pull yourself up to standing. And just like we did before, immediately extend. Roll those shoulders, stand up taller and straighter. And then exhale, pull the knee up nice and high. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, pull the knee up nice and high. Inhale, lower down. Last one, pull it up as high as you can. Tone that tummy. Drop the knee down to that starting spot where it's in line with the hip or maybe a little lower. And then again, we'll open our knee off to the side. Exhale, close it back. Inhale, open it off to the side. Exhale, close it back. I'm using my inner thigh to do so. Last one, open it out, close it, take a great big breath. Soften the foot down, roll all the way down to your forward fold. Wiggle all the hips. Nod the head a little if it feels nice. Hands to the tops of the thighs. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, relax, and then step all the way back to our great big downward facing dog. Take a full inhale, big deep breath out. And from here, let's come onto our knees, sink back into a child's pose. If that feels good for you, head can relax on the mat. You can keep your gaze up a little if that feels better on your neck. Take a great big inhale. Big deep sigh out, another full breath in, let it go. Roll yourself up to a seat and find a position on your back, just like we started class. Let's end very similar to how we began. Hands down by your side, feet about hip distance apart, and feel your spine connect to the mat. Maybe close your eyes again and just notice any changes from the start of class. Press down into your heels. Inhale, lift your hips up. Find your bridge pose. Tone that spot where your thigh and your glute connect. Take a big inhale. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, roll down. Last one, inhale, lift your hips up and stay. Broaden the shoulders, point your nose straight up to the sky. Big inhale here. Slowly lower down as you feel ready. Stamp down deeply into your left foot and take your right foot up high. Actively flex that foot. Maybe find a little circle. Circle in the other direction. Maybe you want to grab behind your thigh again and give yourself a little stretch. Just notice we didn't do a whole lot of back of the leg stretching, but sometimes strengthening those leg muscles can help us get a little more stretchy in our body. So just notice anything that feels different. Now, Really pay attention to your hips. I want you to bring your right hand to your right hip and in fact, press your right thumb into the front of the hip. We want it to stay stationary. That's gonna be holding your hip in place. I want you to then allow your leg to kind of fall over to the left. This is not a great big yanking movement and as you can see, my leg did not move a whole lot. That's okay. This is not about um, a torso twist. This is getting maybe a little bit of stretch through our IT band. This might be enough here. You might play with kind of circling the ankle while you're here. And we're never going to yank and grab on our actual knee joint. You can grab above or below that knee to give yourself an additional stretch. Take a breath. Return to center, set the foot on the floor. Same thing to the opposite side. Stamp down into that right foot. Lift the left leg. Find a little movement. Give yourself a breath. And then just as we did on the other side, if you want to, we can take our stretch a little deeper if we're in the mood. Notice what's changed, even side to side. And then if we want that IT stretch again, left hand comes to left hip, my left thumb right in the front crease of my left hip. 
And then I think about kind of pulling my toes towards my face and then drawing my foot over towards the right. Now, if I'm not paying attention, my right knee does like to cave in. I want you to keep stamping down into that right foot and pointing your knee up to the sky. Take one more big breath. Back to center, release. And let's just give ourselves a moment to enjoy that lovely little practice. Take a moment here and appreciate how strong your body is, how proud of it you are, and how thankful you could do something just for you. Now remember, you can always stay right here. You could elongate the legs, finding more of a traditional Shavasana. And feel free to stay there as long as you want to. But eventually you will sit up in whatever time works best for you. And when you do, give yourself a pat on the back. Again, thank yourself for doing something just for you. I certainly hope you enjoyed our yoga Pilates fusion class, and I hope to see you soon.